Hey, everybody. I'd like to make a toast. They say that uh, three times is a charm, or is it four? I, I don't know. I, I've lost You're track. one to talk. What I'm really trying to say here is that we all knew that you guys were going to get together again, mm -hmm. even before you were willing to admit it. And there were uh, two other guys who knew it as well, but they couldn't be here today. First was Hal Munson. He was Jack's mentor and true friend. And I'm sure he would have had some very crusty things to say about this marriage. And the other is uh, Brad, Jack's brother. These two guys, they didn't get along so well, but they loved each other like brothers do. So on behalf of Hal and Brad, here's to you guys. Here's to lifelong happiness. You're here. Thank you. Thank you, Holden. Don't screw it up this time. Oh, hey, at least I made the first step. What about you? Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, this. Oh, hug is from Katie. Oh, well, tell her thanks. How's, how's Chris doing? Amazingly well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. You know, what you said up there earlier, it's so true. Carly brought you back from the brink, and now you're you're happy, and you're employed, and, oh, boy, I owe her. <sighs> she thought she lost her best detective. Ah, uh, no, no way. No, you're not getting rid of me, ever. Oh, I certainly hope not. So, did uh, Parker talk to you today? Yeah. Why? What was that? You almost blew the secret. Oh, really? Oh, you planned that. Well, see, now Jack will ask Parker what I was talking about, and Parker will have to get off his dime, and he'll have to tell his parents. Hmm? On the wedding day. Yeah, it's as good a day as any. It's my turn now. Cheers. <laughs> sure. oh. oh, I don't think that there's a person here who would argue that Carly and Jack were destined to be together. And when the history and love between two people is so strong, Anyone who imagines that he or she could come between them should have his or her head examined. <laughs> you can't fight destiny. So why try? To Carly and Jack. Thank you, Molly. Thank you so much. Thank all of you for everything you did to make this happen today. I love you all so much. I love you. Those flowers, the three flowers that we gave you before, mm -hmm. those mean that we are in this with you, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> and since none of us could survive another breakup with you and Jack, we're going to do oh. everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm counting on that, I guess. That won't be necessary. Because there's no way the two of you are going to break up. We've been through so much. You know what you have to lose now. Yeah, we do. But just in case, it's nice to know I have my girls for backup. Oh, <laughs> Has anyone seen Dustin? No, not since he dropped off the champagne. No, I just wanted to thank him again. Where is he? Maybe he and Janet had better things to do. Is it over? Is it over? That was two strong ones in a row. How far apart were they? Five minutes. Okay. Okay, that's good. At least they're not getting any closer, right? Well, they might soon. We gotta get you to the hospital. How? I'm gonna get the car. No, you can't drive, Dusty. You can't drive. You're right. in no condition and neither am I. Stay here. It's muddy out there after the rain. I don't want you slipping on anything. You stay here. I'll be right back with the car, okay? okay. Be careful. Attention, please. Oh, I knew he was going to do something stupid. Well, I'll just go arrest him now, save us all some time. I'd like to propose a toast. 